What's happening guys, welcome back to some more Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we headed out on an adventure, battled May, beat her ass, ventured west of Old Dale Town and caught us uh, a few Pokemon. And I did use Clyde to battle those three trainers we passed on the way here, so he is getting leveled up. So at this point, like the two people I'm, I'm focusing on are Kipper and Clyde. And uh, I really, like I said in the last episode, I kind of want to use Pinky because I never really used him or a worm pool. So I, I may throw Pinky out in a battle somewhere. Hopefully if he doesn't die because it's level two and I mean, it, it's kind of a pain to train. But yeah, so we are gonna head here now, but whoa, this guy says some Hiya, are you maybe a rookie trainer? I, I don't know, can't, can't you tell? Do you know what Pokemon trainers do when they reach a new town? They first check what kind of gym is in the town. Who, who cares about the gym? Honestly, I, I don't give two hoots about it. See, this is the Petalburg's gym. This is the gym sign. Look for it whenever you look for a gym. You know, we're, we're here, so we we might as well do what the dude says and check it out. Petalburg City Gym. Leader, Norman. A man in pursuit of power. Hmm. That... That's not a good sign. Maybe he has like a, a secret, like crime syndicate underneath his gym. <laughs> but uh, he doesn't. We know that. Let's go check what this guys say. Hmm? It's my daddy. H hello, father. Well, if it isn't Jorge, <laughs> I'm just gonna. Okay, all my friends that I talk to, whether it's in person or on over the YouTube, they all call me a Jorge when I'm just like, guys, you can just call me George, but technically both of them are right, so I may switch between Jorge and George this entire Let's Play, so if, if you prefer to call me a certain way, by all means do it, I, I don't care, honestly. So, George, uh, so you're all finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. I'm a big boy, alright, Daddy? Calm down. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Hmm. Then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, George. That's great news. I've been looking forward to it. Who is this shady guy? Um, I, I, I like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm. You're, uh, oh right, you're a Wally, right? I'm going to stay with my my relatives in Verdenturf Town. I thought I, I would be lonely by myself, so, so why not take a Pokemon along? But uh, I never caught a Pokemon before. I, I I don't know how. Hmm, I see. George, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safe again just a Pokemon. Wally here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. You got a Zigzagoon. Uh, oh wow, a, a poke I I've given him, like, a, a give <laughs> please don't take offense to this, but, uh, I'm giving him, like, the voice of a retard. Or a mentally challenged person who's kind of constipated. <laughs> oh god. Hopefully that'll be the end of that. George, will, will you come with me? I might as well, you know, helping out the new guy and everything. Like, I remember about, what was it, like 20 minutes ago, I was the new guy. So, uh, I'll, I'll show you the ropes that May somewhat taught me. Um, George, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! So kind of like a uh, kind of startled yourself there, buddy. So yep, here we go. We're gonna uh, watch Wally catch a Pokemon. This is kind of like the uh, the I can't say tutorial uh, tutorial of how to catch Pokemon. But you know, we we already caught three, so we we know what we're doing. We're not. I can't say retarded again. We're not little kids. We've all played Pokemon. It's the year 2014. And, um... So, like... Wow, I lost my train of thought. But, yeah, like I said, it's going to be an introduction to, uh, catch a Pokemon. And, uh, Ralts, I totally forgot, is another Pokemon you can potentially catch here on this route. It, it's really rare, though, so there wasn't a really good chance to catch this. But if I caught a Ralts my first try, like, oh, my encountered... I'd be pretty happy, even though, like, Rolts is a really overused Pokemon throughout the third generation uh, game. I, I don't mind using it. It's a really good Pokemon. That's why it's overused. I did it. It's my Pokemon. George, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. You know, I didn't really do anything, but I'm, I'm glad you're giving me credit. So, did it work out? 
Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. I love how he has like, a little boost of confidence now that he calls his first Pokemon. George, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, George. I guess we made a new friend. Now, George, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to the other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges for them, understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, George. But that's only after you become a stronger... I, I think he said stronger George. I don't know if I read that wrong or not. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, that's all we have to do here in Petalburg. And I believe this is where Wally's parents... Oh, no, it's where his relatives are. Wally's house. No, he said Verdant This is where... I, oh, he actually lives here. Okay, let's go say hi to his, uh, his family. Like, I never take the time to uh, like, come here. Uh, you're... Oh, you must be George, right? Thank you for playing with Wally a little while ago. I don't really consider that playing, but, uh, you know, I'm happy to help out a fellow new guy. He's been frail and sickly ever since he was a baby. We've sent him to stay with his relatives in the for town for a while. The air is a lot cleaner there than it is here. What's that? Where's Wally? He already left our Wally. I wonder where he could have gotten by now. You know, I, I'm kind of glad I took the time to go inside that house. They said the the air is better by Verdant Earth Town. I don't really get that. Like, they... Spoilers alert again. I don't, they live next to the sea, and shouldn't, like, the air be, like, refreshing and salty? Like, isn't that, like, something good? But here we go. We have a new route and a new chance to catch a Pokemon. What will it be? I believe there's another Pokemon. A Wurmpool. I believe there's one new Pokemon to catch here, but uh, like I said, if you, um, in my introduction video, I, I started caught a Wurmple, I'm not, I'm not catching duplicate Pokemon, and I will have, I would say, like, five extra attempts to potentially find a new Pokemon, and within those five attempts, if I don't catch it, I'm just going to move on and forget this area, and I believe, let me count real quick, there's one, two, there should be three new Pokemon here on this route that I, we currently do not have. So hopefully I will find one of them, and I, I kind of want one Pokemon over the others, just because I, I, I like it, even though if I do catch this Pokemon, I will probably give it a little priority in my team uh, at this point in time to train it up a bit. And that was this is the attempt number two, and once again we found another Whirlpool, and... I, 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 if I didn't already catch a Wurmple, I would kind of be glad to catch that one because it's, it's a little bit higher than the one I have currently, so it kind of might be worth training. And we have another Zigzagoon. So this is attempt number three, I believe. I'm already losing count, and that's not good. So let's see if we can find one more. And a oh, Wurmple. Okay. Last attempt of catching a new Pokemon. Come on, there's three Pokemon I've not yet caught yet. Can I please get it just this one time and... Nope. Alright, so I'm just going to say screw it. Uh, I'm not going to catch a Pokemon on this route. And you know what? It, it's no big because uh, at this point in time, like, you see we already have four party members. And it, it's just going to be crowding my party. And I'm not going to be using these Pokemon. The thing is... If you do catch a lot of Pokemon early on, you could make a stockpile, and in case like a Pokemon faints, you have others in the uh, the box to use. So uh, I maybe bite myself early on not catching a Pokemon, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, guess we got a battle. Leaving footprints in the sand is so fun. So uh, yeah, you know since I still haven't caught a Pokemon, I I may go. Uh, just maybe I might just continue looking until I find a Pokemon. I don't know yet, but uh, at this point I'm just, just gonna say screw it and uh, just keep battling trainers. And here we go. We got C dot, and I believe I said it last episode that C dot is uh, exclusive to Ruby and no, yeah, just Ruby. And uh, the exclusive over here is Lotad. I believe Lotad's also in Emerald as well. And here we go, Bind. I'm not trying to mess with that, because Bind, basically, you absorb all the damage you take in, and then you dish out the damage twice as much, so. I'm just going to growl the C dot because I don't want to take unnecessary damage, really, because why would I attack it? But, yep. Let's keep this going. And Kipper's looking pretty good early on, already level 8, and wow, that's like nothing. Oh, well, he is using Harden, so. 
really nothing to complain about. And I believe by the time we get to the gym, Kipper, if I just use Kipper straight on out from here, he will be at a respectable level to take on the gym. Well, we are already level 9, and we've only, what part is this? Number 3, I think? So that, that, that's pretty good. And with Talo, now Talo is one of those Pokemon I could have potentially caught in this area. And it, it, it probably would have been kind of nice to use Talo, but once again, Talo, well, I didn't know explain this, but Talo is a, one of those Pokemon that's also used quite a lot. And I prefer uh, Wingle over Talo. Just the sheer fact that Wingle is part water type, even though it does have the uh, times four weakness to electric type Pokemon, but I just find Wingle on the ball form kind of charming and nice to use. And oh, critical hit for the win. I like that, Kipper. Good job. And sweet, two levels with one battle. And we learned our uh, first uh, stab attack, Water Gun. And throughout this Let's Play, you're going to hear me. Uh, use the terminology stab which stands for same type attack bonus it's something uh, I picked up when I used to compete a battle land like back in like believe it or not when I first started YouTube it was to do competitive Pokemon Wi-Fi battling and I did that in 2011 and it was pretty big back then it was really fun and instead of saying like stab was just used to uh... To, <laughs> I'm losing uh, you know, I'm getting away from my point here, but yes, I'm just going to be using a lot of uh, competitive battling terminologies in this uh, playthrough because that's just what I do. Like, I still competitive battle somewhat, but that's it's uh, with Pokemon Showdown and whatnot. Oh, I don't want to battle this dude, but Pokemon Showdown is, is what I used to competitive battle right now. And I, I don't have like any cartridges to battle, but uh, eventually I do want to buy a 3DS and continue Wi-Fi battling with the current gen uh, X and Y because um, I do watch a lot of competitive battling videos on YouTube and it looks a lot of fun with these new guys like I actually find a lot of good stuff I like about this generation in terms of competitive battling so I, I, would, I would like to get back into this and you who knows like potentially I could throw some more uh, Pokemon content on this channel and the thing is like I'm not too like I love Pokemon to death like it's one of the series I can always come back to but um, I don't want to overload my channel with so much Pokemon content that people will only stay uh, interested in my uh, channel just because I upload Pokemon. That's not how it works. I want a wide variety of games to do on this channel, and I may lose Clyde because this Zigzagoon used a bunch of growls and a bunch of tail whips, and yeah, that did a lot. So I, I believe I talked about this in my introduction video. As you can see, Clyde is about to die. But I don't want him to die because it's so early on and I'm actually going to I I don't switch out mid battle. But the thing is I don't see myself using Pikachu whatsoever. So it, it's kinda early, but we will most likely have a casualty pretty early on. It's only what, episode three? Oh I don't I don't even poison sting. How oh how beautiful. I believe I get poison sting at level five. But I was hoping, like, if I get hit a poison sting, I can potentially get a poison on it. And who knows, Pinky might have probably would be able to win this battle. But I, I don't uh, foresee it in the card, so I'm basically just gonna attack this thing until it basically just kills me. And we can have a little ceremony for Pinky. But uh, what I want to talk about right now is, like I said, like I switched it mid mid battle. But I had this style, uh, battle style set, which like doesn't allow you to switch. Now, if you don't want me to switch in mid battle, just like I did, please let me know. I will put a stop to that, and I should use Water Gun because it's stab. But you know what? I didn't need it, so I just attack and finish it off. And Pokemon are just going to gain some health. So, what we are going to do now is we could continue on, but we're going to head back into the the Pokemon Center. And we're going to uh, do a little prayer for poor Pinky here. And I, I knew the the Wormpool or Pinky was going to die early on. Because it, it is a Wormpool, not the strongest of uh, Pokemon. It, it is a bug type in Pokemon, and bug types really aren't that good. I can only think of a few good bug type Pokemon. So what we're going to do, we're going to dedicate box 14 
as our graveyard. So we'll just name it real quick. Alright. So, Pinky the Wormpool. I believe you lasted us one whole video. Congratulations, but, uh. You know, we didn't really get to meet each other that well. You know, I've had you for, like, what? 20 minutes in game time, I would say, or out of game time, or my recording session. But, um, yeah, you, for what we had, I enjoyed it. It, it, it was nice knowing you, Pinky, but, uh, I'm going to have to say goodbye. So, on that note, guys, uh, I'm going to end this episode off right, off right here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time.